Hello, good morning. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. So, my name is Cristel Abello. I'm representing the beautiful province of Aklan. I am the daughter to OFW parents, but although I was raised in the States, I was raised to be 100% Filipino. Pusong Pinoy talaga ako. What is one beautiful word in your local language? And what does it mean? One beautiful word in my language is guapa. And I think that just solidifies and represents the Aklanon trait of us Filipinos being beautiful. So what one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact on you? Oh, one learning experience that I had as a child was growing up in the States. I grew up in the States, but we were very Filipino in the household, from the values that were instilled into our home, to the food that we ate, and also to the language that we speak at the, at the house. Hindi nga pumayag si mami na hindi kami magtagalog sa bahay. And through that, I really embraced and loved and learned through my culture, and it really solidified my identity as a, as a person, as a Aklanon, as a, and as a Filipino. What one major lesson did you learn from your experiences during this pandemic? During this pandemic, I have learned the one important lesson of Bayanihan. It's really important for us, mga Pilipino, to stand together, to unite together, and to extend ourselves to help each other. If you win uh, Miss Universe Philippines, how will you help your community? If I win Miss Universe Philippines, I will help my community by extending myself through the use of social media. And I want to use my platform to really use my voice to extend myself and to help my community by raising awareness. And I really want to show the people that I'm here, genuine, with or without the crown, that I really want to help and instill positivity and hope with everyone. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of I think the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is a color that you feel confident in. I think that it could be any color as long as you feel proud to wear it and if you feel beautiful in it, then I think bagay na bagay sa'yo di pak na pak. <laughs> what skills does the workplace of the future need since working from home now is the new one? So the skills that the um, that we need to have and still into our home is I think that kahit na sa bahay dapat ganado pa rin sa bahay and that we should still be appreciative of being at home and that we're still being able to given the chance to work and we should really appreciate that dapat ganado pa rin sa bahay patuloy-tuloy pa rin ang trabaho just because we are in the new normal it doesn't mean that life doesn't stop. If you have a chance to name one spot man-made or natural in your province or city that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be and why? Of course, I would, I would want to promote the beautiful island of Boracay. Of course, it is known as paradise to many. And of course, it is a place where you can just relax. And it is incomparable to other places around the world even. It is one of the most highlighted tourist destinations of the Philippines. And most importantly, I think ang pinaka-importante, ang generosity, ang hospitality ng mga aklanon. So are you bringing us? Puede, sige, tera. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, there's a campaign to hashtag love local. Which local product would you promote and why? Which local product I would promote? So, love local, the local product that I would promote siguro sa ngayon would probably be ang, ang food natin. I think I would want to promote our food because our food is very relevant. No matter how old, how young we are, we can all sama-sama together and it brings us all together. And lastly, what one thing should people like you, should young people like you focus on? I think what young people should focus on is believing in themselves. I think from this journey, I have learned to really believe in myself and to earn the confidence. And I think that a lot of young people, our young generation is lacking today the belief and the confidence in themselves to push themselves forward and to also uh, be positive and to uplift. If you are positive in yourself, then you can continue to uplift others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Thank you po. So, Miss Aklan is back from her Q&A. So, how do you think you did with your answers? Do you think you, you could have done anything differently? I probably could have been more relaxed, been more calm, and just 
bit, been a bit more still. I feel like I have I had such an adrenal rush within me that up until now I'm still kind of shaking, and so all the nerves are still in me, so I'm still kind of shaking. So I just wish I was a little more calm and collected. So that would be the only different thing. Hi, good morning. Come on, star. Oh. Of course. Okay. So I am Paula Madarieta Ortega and I am pro I'm representing the home of our majestic Mayon volcano, Albay. I am a footballer of Filipina who was born and raised in Spain. I got my med lab and nurse degrees in Universidad de Barcelona, Spain. And because I love nurturing people, I love, sorry, I love helping people. I love reaching out to them. That's why I pursued to be a nurse. So, yeah, I love going out with my friends. I'm a social butterfly. I love dancing and okay. Thank you. sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it's just nervousness. <laughs> sorry, but okay. What is one beautiful word in your language? Okay. Bicolano. Bicolano. Daragan Magallon. Daragan Magallon is actually a legend in in our Bicol area that is representing the beautiful mountains in our region. And it's about how beautiful our nature is. I think it really portrays that and I really like that word. Daragan Magallon. Viva. What one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact on you? As a child? Well, definitely a lot, but definitely has to be about friendship. I've realized with time, I was, I, I've always been very open to everyone, but I realized with time that you have to nurture your friendships in order to keep them and to be with them. Because if not, they will forget about you and you won't click with anymore. So yeah, friendship. Um, what one major lesson did you learn from your experiences uh, during the pandemic? Well, so many, so many. But the biggest realization is that you cannot control any, everything. There's things you can control, things you cannot control. So focus on the things you can control to improve yourself and actually make an impact to everyone. So, yeah. If you win the crown, uh, how would you help your community? Definitely, it, it would be by promoting and advocating how important the healthcare system is. And I think now it's very relevant and timely. People have realized if we don't have a healthcare system, everything goes down. So I really want to advocate that because we, it's a human right. We deserve proper healthcare. So you know, I would promote healthcare. <laughs> what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? The colors of the Filipino flag, white, red, and, and blue, and gold. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a phenomenal Filipino woman. Okay, so working from home now is the new norm. I know. So um, what skills does the workplace of the future need? What, what do you think is the, what skills does uh, the workplace of the future need? Mm -hmm. Since everything, almost everything now is online. Uh, well, definitely having um, internet skills, computer skills, uh, it's very now important to work with um, social media, with um, platforms such as Google Meet or Zoom, and also to really work with presentations because now we cannot present with our bodies, we have to present through a screen. So we have to make our best effort to present it on different platforms such as PowerPoint or more than there's out there to show what we have. So, um, can you name one spot, whether it's man-made or natural, from Albay, mm -hmm. that you would like to promote to the world? I might sound cliche, but I really love, and I think it's so majestic, our Mayon volcano. It has such a perfect diamond shape, a diamond, sorry, triangle shape. It's a perfect volcano, Diva. Right? And uh, the, the, what I love the most, it's still dangerous, because it's still active. So that's a beauty in it. You have to take care of it and be aware of it in order to admire its beautiful, iconic figure. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a campaign to hashtag Love Local. Mm -hmm. Which local product could you promote and why? Well, as a chocolate lover, I would promote chocolate because actually it's very 
I found out it's very um, sustainable to grow cacao in our grounds and in our country. And for example, Davao's chocolate is amazing. I always buy local chocolate from Davao because it's really good and it's actually healthy. So best, wor best things in both worlds. <laughs> okay, and lastly, what one thing should young people like you focus on? To be truly yourself, to be to find your values, and that is something I will always instill on. Educate yourself, work, get out there, get out of your comfort zone, and find what you want to do in your life in order to influence other people to do even better. So, Jan, I want to instill that to our generation. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Oh, it was so lovely, actually. Oh, I was expecting, like, political questions. No, please. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much and good morning. Hope you have a great day today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I feel so relieved right now. But the best thing is because I know I did my very best. But still, the nervousness is there. I was actually the first part. I was short of breath because I was hyperventilating from before. But like nature, I was able to relax. Mama Jay actually was like, breathe, relax. Just just an interview, relax. So. I was able to breathe and then deliver. And I think really don't know. That's awesome, you're finally done. <laughs> just, just the beginning. <laughs> That's your inspiration from. The past queens, I really draw inspiration from Miss Venus Ra. I had the pleasure of meeting her once and uh, she's a very religious person. That's something I really got from our meeting. And at the end of that day, she prayed over all of us and she had the power to make me cry with her prayer. And I really want to be able to somehow use my words to also touch other people's lives. So Venus Ra, definitely. I'm gonna make the judges cry. <laughs> make them cry, make them cry. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So along the thirty second room. Yes, I was informed by Angel. Even with the first question that I'll ask you, tell us something about yourself. Hello, my name is Pauline Cucharo Amlings. I'm your Boholana Belgian from, of course, the beautiful province of Bohol. My dad is a Belgian and I'm Filipina, so I'm like a mix of both cultures in one, and I'm very excited to be here today. Um, what is one beautiful word in your local language, and what does it mean? I would like to choose the word pohon. It means hopefully. It's a word that we use whenever we talk about something that is going to happen in the future. Like, I'm going to join Miss Universe Philippines, pohon, hopefully, with God's blessing. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made much impact on you? One learning experience I had as a child was that I had to not be shy when it comes to myself and when it comes to my body and my capacities. I was very shy, always in the corner, but my mom and my dad always kept telling me, you have to really be out there. That's the only way for you to grow. That's the only way for you to shine. And then, uh, what is that one major lesson that you learned uh, during this pandemic? Whew. I think I learned so many things from cooking to, to planting, but I think one thing that I really learned is how interconnected everything really is. From the animal world to the human world, from communities, inter-province, and I think that that just reminds me of the fact that we all play a part in fighting this pandemic and that we can all rise together. Well, if you with the crown, how would you help your community? I would want to be a spokesperson and a rallying point to bring people together in meaningful conversation and together look for solutions. And I think that with this platform of influence, that's something I can really do. Oh, uh, what color symbolizes the phenomenal woman? Oh, that's very interesting. For this moment, I would like to choose pink. Pink is the color that would symbolize me as a phenomenal woman. And uh, pink is also something that you will have to watch out for during my, uh, my performances for a preliminary or evening gown. I'm not going to mention which one, but I'll just tell you that. And it's also my favorite color. I have an emotional relation with that color because every time my dad would give me gifts, it would always be something pink. Um, 
I'm, I'm excited to see all your pink outfits <laughs> in the next few days. Yes. I'm also excited to find out. No? Yeah. So if given a chance to promote to the world a spot, whether man-made or natural in Bohol, mm -hmm. what would it be? I would have to choose the Lobok River Cruise. The Lobok River, I don't know if you've tried it. I hope that you've had. You tried it? So hopefully then you agree with me. The Lubbock River Cruise is really one of the more amazing things that you can do in Bohol. It's not just good food. It's not just you being on that river cruise. But it allows you to interact with the locals in dance and in song. And every time I'm there, I always make it a point for me to dance at Tinikling with the locals, even though I risk getting my, my feet hurt with the bamboo. But it's really one of the things I would want everyone to know about here in Bohol. Um, let's go on the work side now. That, uh, that's the creation. Now let's go to the work side. We've been hearing the word work from home. Yes. So what do you think are the skills that we need to uh, develop for the workplace of the future, as we call it? Whew, I have worked from home also during, during the first few months of the pandemic. I'm sorry, it's a bit cold. During the first few months of the pandemic. And I think patience is one thing that we all need to work on on ourselves especially with the internet connection that we have at home there's so many times that i've had meetings and then my internet connection would fade out and then i wouldn't hear the rest of it i think patience above everything else is something that we need to work on and from then on we at least have the clear mind to work on everything else <laughs> there's a campaign called hashtag love local okay so if you had a local product that you had to promote what would it be about? It would definitely be Rafia from Tubigan Loom Weavers. I'm not wearing it at the moment. I will be wearing it for one of the segments. For one of the segments. So one of the things that I would also look forward to seeing. Definitely, yes. Oh, I'm not going to indulge any more information about that. But Rafia is really a product that's from my hometown in Tubigan. And it really takes so many people to make uh, a raffia a raffia roll and there's so much thought and effort that goes into it and it's a beautiful product with so many possibilities what is that what is one thing that you think young people should focus on at the moment, it's really staying strong and continuing their, their dreams of educating themselves, even during these pandemic times. We all are having a hard time, but that doesn't mean that our dreams, our passions are cancelled. They're just on hold, and I think that they all need to have hope in their hearts to continue what they're dreaming on and to somehow make their dreams still come true. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. It's Igorot inspired. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Not very warm indeed. Uh, I'll take that into consideration next time. I think I did pretty well. I just wish someone told me it wasn't a closed door interview. It was an outdoor interview. So cold. That was my only. That was my only concern. But for the rest, I, I loved talking to them. Um, I always pray, especially when I just wake up, to have a good sense of humor. I got that from um, Saint Francis. Pope Francis, rather, um, because I think it's important that before you step out of the door, that you have this um, positive aura and that when you go out, you can share your wit, your comedy, and just good vibes. Uh, morning workout. <laughs> It's good for a morning jog. <laughs> okay. So you know the drill. 30 seconds if you speak uh, Filipino or Filipino English if you want to. Um, 30 seconds for a statement or answer. First question is, or a statement, tell us something about it in 30 seconds. Hi everyone, I'm Danica Madrid Reynes. I'm 28 years old. I'm passionate about music. I'm a singer-performer. I represented the Philippines in the World Championships of Performing Arts in Hollywood, California. And uh, it, it's like uh, Olympics for talent. And I'm also passionate about travel. I'm a former overseas Filipino worker as an international flight attendant based in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And that gave me the chance to travel and to support my family financially. And I met people from different walks of life. Para naman hindi kami mag-bore buong araw na magtatanong, kanta ka naman konti. Sa sample lang sa lawan niya. You are the universe And there is nothing you can do If 
you conceive it, you can achieve it. That's why I believe in you. Yes, I do. My mother is from uh, Gonzaga, Cagayan. Po. Pero may alam ka na, uh, local 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 about your childhood naman, what is that uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? When I was a child, my parents brought me and my, my brother with them in a remote municipality in Visayas. So they went on a medical mission that went for a few years. I was still a toddler that time and uh, that's life-changing for me because at a very young age, I was, I was able to experience that humble life. Uh, no e electricity at night, chickens everywhere. It's a remote municipality. And so growing up, I aspire to be like my parents. Sorry. What is that most important lesson that you learned uh, during this pandemic? I've learned how to be grateful each day. Like today, today is a great day to be alive. So, and I've learned not to take things for granted. Like, for example, my loved ones, I already miss them. So every kiss, every touch, every small conversations that you have with them, don't take it for granted. And also, in, for the society, I've learned that it doesn't discriminate. So why do that to your brothers and sisters? I've learned a lot. If you win Miss Universe Philippines, how would you help your community? I uphold uh, music and arts therapy. Um, I believe in the power of our skills and talents because um, I know that we have to give importance to our mental health because it's just as important as physical health. And so for the youth, whenever they use their talents to empower themselves, they will channel their energy into that straight path and they will be away from the bad influences of life. So I think that we must empower the youth with their talents. What do you think, what color do you think uh, symbolizes the phenomenon moment? Color? Yeah. The color red. <laughs> because I think red is the universal color for love. And if you're a phenomenal woman, you should be filled with love. Love not just for yourself, for God, for family, for everyone. Because the universe is so vast. And I think that Miss Universe Philippines must have a spacious space of her heart to give to everyone. Speaking of space, uh, we've been uh, hearing the word work from home. Ito na yung pinarinig natin recently. So what, what skills do you think we need for this, uh, for the so-called work from home, which is the workplace of the future? Um, I always see my father working from home because he's one of the vulnerable groups. So he must stay at home. And I saw that since he is so used to working with other people, I saw how he adjusted very well. So I think we must do the same. Whatever work we have, we must be very adapted to our environment. We must not be choosy. We, we must be thankful that we are alive and with our families. So I think that any skills would also be enhanced when you're in a quarantine working from home. Such as cooking, gardening, plantita. <laughs> Um, can you name one spot, whether man-made or natural, uh, in your province that you would like to promote to the world? You guys should go to Kalao Cave. So it's composed of seven chambers. So you can just imagine. And then I went to this main cave. It has a natural dent. So you don't need any electricity because the sunlight will go directly there. And then there's an altar, there's a grotto, and you can even have weddings there. So it's very natural, um, energy-saving location. <laughs> and I hope that it will be very famous soon all over the world. So there's a campaign called uh, Hashtag Love Local. So what local product would you want to promote and why? 
there's this uh, local product from my childhood, and up to now, it's still my favorite, the Carabao uh, sweet candy. I think it should be distributed to the whole world because uh, it's actually um, the asset of Cagayan province because we produce uh, not just ag agricultural products, we also have the livestock products. And one of those, of course, is from the Carabao. So I know you guys have already tried that, but I think the whole world must try that too. <laughs> Last question is, what one thing do you think should young people focus on? Young people like you. Young people like me? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think since we have pandemic and since uh, most people are now at home and um, they are really relying on internet and everything, I think we must not cancel special education. We must not cancel our work, education, and all our priorities even before the pandemic. Because even though that we have this um, pandemic all around us, life is not canceled. And we must go on because there's always hope. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel so happy. I feel so happy I didn't expect those questions coming, but um, I'm just so thrilled uh, and excited for the next rounds. <laughs> Do you think it is enough to get you to the top 15? I pray that it will be enough, so yes, amen. <laughs> FA look, <laughs> my specialty. Oh, can, I, can I move this? Yeah, okay. Hi. 30 seconds for question from us. The first one would be, can you tell us more about yourself? Okay, so Marina Aga, sa Indugabos. I'm Crystalline Moreno. You can call me Kia. I'm 25 years old and I'm representing my beautiful province of Camarines Sur. I graduated Maña Cum Laude from the University of Santo Tomas. I took up travel management because it has been a childhood dream of mine to become a flight attendant. So now, sorry, the stairs, really, it's hard. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm working as a flight attendant for Cebu Pacific. <laughs> um, what is one beautiful word in your local language? And what does it mean? One beautiful word. It's magayon. Actually, it, it literally means beautiful. And for me, um, magayon does not mean being beautiful physically, but also inside. When you say someone is magayon, um, she or he is beautiful inside and outside. I so I, of course you are. <laughs> we are all magayon. <laughs> oragon, it's oragon in Bicol. Another word, very beautiful word. It means strong and palaban, oragon. <laughs> what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? One learning experience, um, I really value education. I am an overachiever ever since I was a little kid. So I really try to do my best in terms of my studies. The, that's why I was able to graduate with Latin honors because um, I value the gift of education given to me by my parents because I believe that this will pave the way for me to get more opportunities in life, to, to reach my dream. So, this, um, through education, I was able to learn a lot of things and, Hi. yeah. So what about in this pandemic, uh, what is the most important lesson that you learned? The most, no, the most important lesson that I've learned in this pandemic is the value of helping one another and compassion and solidarity. I am very proud that Filipinos, us Filipinos, are, were, uh, were able to show the spirit, the true spirit of Bayanihan through helping one another, even if we are, own, we are struggling in our own ways and we are helping one another in our little ways. And I believe that there is, there is hope in unity and solidarity. If you will. 
I can be able to be of help to my community in a lot of ways. First of all, I will be a spokesperson to the causes that the organization is pushing for and to my cause, which is pushing for responsible tourism. It is mainly educating people on how they can become responsible travelers as well as locals. I believe it's very timely and relevant that we instill in us the values of responsibility, discipline, and respect because it is how we will progress as a nation. What color do you think uh, symbolizes the phenomenon woman? A color that symbolizes the phenomenal woman is, for me, it's color white. Um, white for me is very simple. You know, you don't uh, to be phenomenal, you don't have to be extravagant. You just have to be simple and pure and clean as the color white. Um, a lot of people are doing work from home now. Yeah. So what do you think um, are the skills needed for what you call the workplace of the future? Yeah, for me, it's very important that you know technical skills. Of course, you have to be acquainted with how you use the computer. It's hard to work from home if you're not used to using the computer. And of course, you have to know how to talk to people, to communicate, because most of the time now we are using Zoom, and you have to be able to know how to talk, to converse with people, and to communicate with them, to be effective. If there's one spot man-made for natural in Camarines work that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? Of course, definitely. I would like to promote Karamoan Islands. It's one of the beautiful islands that I've been to in, in the Philippines. You know, I've been to a lot of places here in the Philippines, and Karamoan Islands is really magnificent. Um, it's a group of islands where we have white sand beaches, we have cliffs where, where you can climb, we have a lot of tourist destinations where you can island hop or extreme adventure. So I would really like to promote Karamoan. It's also very famous in Camarines Sur. That's a campaign uh, to hashtag love local. What yeah. local product would you like to promote and why? Local product in Camarines Sur that I would want to promote is the Pili Nut. Um, we are very famous for that. Um, we, we have been the province that is abundantly producing pili nuts. And for me, it's, it's, very, it's very timely that we promote that because, you know, to harvest the pili nut, it's, it's, it's not easy. It takes a lot of time to produce just the pili nut itself. And it's also very healthy and it's delicious as well. I, I, I hope you had tried it. <laughs> Your last question is, what do you think young people should focus on? I think young people should focus on their dreams. They should, have, uh, they should know what their purpose, their passion in life is, because that will drive them to what they want to achieve in life. And they should focus on, on making themselves better and turning their, their weaknesses into their advantages. So uh, I, think, I think that the youth should, should focus on, on themselves and to become responsible citizens in our community. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor and pleasure to be in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. Just marvelous. Who would you say was your inspiration for your performance today? Of course, it would be my supporters, especially my family. Because if it weren't for them, I will not have this strength and this clear mind. Because they, they are really my inspiration. I want to succeed because of them. Because their success is not just for me, but it will also be for them. The first batch of candidates has finally cracked the first round of Q&A preliminaries.